Do girls really like just tall guys? Let's have some tea. Another relationship talk video with Simi and moi, Danny. <laughs> okay, so today's topic is Do girls only like tall, tall guys? And this topic came to us in a very, very sad way actually because we had a comment on our uh, one of our oldest videos. Yeah. Unfortunately, it got deleted already from the writer himself, but he was very, very sad, I think, about girls. He was also very mean and very ugly, but <laughs> it came out of his frustration, what we realized later. And yeah, long story short, he wrote that we are giving people fake hope with our one in the million relationship, what we have, because Danny is obviously shorter than me, I am the taller one in the relationship, and he said, no girls! like short guys and whatever kind of relationship you have as a small guy you will always have to watch out because the girl will leave you for sure always. if there is coming a taller guy yeah he said it will not last and uh yeah he basically really said sad. that it's nice that you got your turn because i will anyway leave you yeah <laughs> and so on and so on and of course we are not heard of this kind of comments it's just something that we had to discuss with each other. We also even discussed it with our Instagram fam. And yeah, yeah that's why we are sitting here having a coffee, having a tea mm -hmm. and want to discuss it one more time with you. Yeah, and maybe we can give you in the end some advice for shorter guys, mm -hmm. how to date and how to just a little bit like open your mind because it's really not that horrible how it looks let's get started so guys first things first he mentioned in his comments very often that there are statistics yeah. statistics that small guys have huge problems finding a girl meeting a girl getting into a relationship with a girl yeah. even though they are smaller or whatever even or taller because they will always always look for someone tall. There are statistics. That's a fact. That's a fact. Exactly. And we want to say in the beginning of this video, yes, we know, we are very, very much aware of it, that there are like socially accepted, let's say like beauty standards for a man and for and a, woman. a woman that are like accepted by the society that's what is amazing, pretty, sexy, that's what is attractive and mostly for men that that's like tallness mm -hmm. that's uh, muscly. muscly, no belly fat, fat. Uh, and another things like handsome handsome and uh, I don't know money and things like that successful that's everything in it and exactly. for girls mostly I'm really sorry but boobs Oops. Small waist, mm -hmm. long hair, short and cute mostly, and it's like these are the like super, like ah, here on the top people, you know. <laughs> and of course, also this kind of amazing people, like let's say like almost like superheroes out there, yeah. because there are not so many existing. Yeah. Um, they have, of course, we call it something like a target group, yeah. you know. Their target group is of course huge because now at the moment that's like famous, that's popular, how they look, you know? Yeah. So they have like the biggest range, the biggest option for dating. Like their target group, as Dan said, is big because they are generally considered to be handsome or pretty. They will quickly find someone. It's easier for them and because it's Because they can the maybe pick even. Yeah. And then of course there are people that are just maybe a little bit shorter or a little bit taller for a girl or I don't know you are not blonde every girl is not blonde <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and uh, these people have then different sizes of the target groups like like let's say a shorter man has a smaller girl group of girls that could possibly date him taller men have a little bit bigger and so on, but it doesn't mean that the target group is not there. 
it's weird that we call it like that because I'm I'm coming from the marketing, so for me it's everything target group, but it's options or let's say or or people who might like them. Bubble, let's call it bubble. bubble. Everyone has different priorities and Absolutely. different preferences in relationship. I know a friend, she is looking for a boyfriend and for her on the top of the priority level is religion. For example. There are people who really want to look for someone who is adventurous. There are people who really want to look for someone who loves animals, who is vegan, who is tall, who is having blue eyes. There are people with so many different preferences. You really Big cannot muscles. put everyone into one group. Exactly. So even if they are look-wise maybe on the same level, there are so many other things they can, it can differ so much because you have this knot or that knot and this and there are so many values, uh, how you call it, priorities, priorities from other people yeah. what you might not hit right away. So it's not just about the tallness, it's not just about being small. I personally know at least four guys my size or even smaller. They're all in a happy relationship, married, having a kid. They are completely fine and also found someone. Yeah, they're amazing, nice people and they are a catch for that girl. Exactly. And yeah, it's very, very important to realize this. You will be never, ever perfect for everyone. Never, ever. Never, ever. Because everyone has these different priorities. It sounds and weird, but you cannot have everyone you want to have. Yeah. Because everyone has, again, their own priorities. So, we want to say with it, shorter guys, if we are focusing now on shorter guys. Because we had this comment. Yeah. They have smaller bubble, target group, lesser options. They have, yes, we know that. But we are trying on our channel to show you guys that it is possible, that it is not a lost cause and you should hate women and be hateful on the internet and never try again. This commenter had, I think, a lot, really a lot of bad experiences and I totally get it. He maybe got bitter because of it and so on and so on. But there is hope and he also told us that we are giving fake hope out there. Yeah. That was actually one thing that really bothered me yeah. because we honestly think that like we are lying to the people always hope yeah. because you can't find your person maybe you have to go out of your ways maybe you have to go get out of your um, surrounding even for that i was for example not looking for a shorter guy i was not it was not like my preference me neither i don't have like <laughs> fetish in it like some people Thing, and they write us almost daily, uh, also on our Instagram. Like. Well, same like on me, like on me that I am attracted by taller girls. I'm attracted by taller girls, but I'm also attracted by smaller girls. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like that for us it was not that important. It was not so high on the ladder of priorities. Like exactly. the, the tallness is somewhere here, but here is like kindness, uh, family, relationship, values, goals in life. And if that person has all of the things, then the tallness is like, ah, uh, that's not really matter. Exactly. Do you really? For example, do you really want to have a tall guy who is a stupid asshole and treats you like shit? Or do yeah. you better take someone who is a bit smaller but he is just kind, kind and, loving and, and loving and caring and everything? Yeah. It's just about where you put the priorities. If you put tallness in, on the priority, number one, that can happen. That is the out there and girls will not change it maybe or guys will not change it that they want to have a smaller girl. Yeah. Taller girls also have sometimes problems Oof. that they cannot find a guy because yeah. they say you're too tall. Yeah, even tall guys and mostly also uh, the super fit guys, they love short little skinny girls because they just want to turn them around like this <laughs> on the finger and they are into it. And yeah, we are not saying that you should change your preferences because sometimes it's also not possible like you are into something like it's your type of a person exactly but just be tolerant to another people that what is our message on our channel mm -hmm. like we want to share tolerancy we are stereotype fighters we want to <laughs> say okay even if you are a girl that cannot imagine 
to date a shorter guy, then at least not laugh at couples like that. At least don't be mean, don't be ugly. So guys, you see, um, also vice versa, it's completely the same. Tall girls have problems. I mean, maybe a little bit bigger girls have different problems again, or uh, super skinny girls have also some problems because they are too skinny for some people, you know? Your target group, your bubble of people who might like you varies so, so, so much. Yeah. But even I, as a small guy, yes, I know that my bubble is smaller. I never had problems to find a girlfriend. I had girlfriends, <laughs> it's not like that, I found another yeah. one. Um, the, the, the ones before they were smaller or same height uh, like me, so, I mean, there is the bubble. If it can be smaller and higher, no? you can also do things for yourself to open up that whole thing. That bubble a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Of course, you cannot make it grow like, let's say, some supermodel, uh, Calvin Klein model guy that is who? Like, looking amazing, like who is on the top, caring and loving and super yeah. great. Yeah. I mean, right? of course, don't even try to compete <laughs> with that. I cannot compete. With that. <laughs> but. You can stretch your bubble a little bit. With, Everyone can do it. With working on yourself and with doing little things Absolutely. for yourself to be more attractive. And what are these advices? Let's go directly to that. Give one shoot. Um, don't be an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be a dick. <laughs> yeah, basically, yes. Um, I mean, I know it's hard to self-reflect yourself maybe you need someone else to it maybe ask someone ask your surrounding your family your friends and just look what kind of traits of your character you can maybe a little bit change or or do a bit different because nobody likes a mean person honestly yeah. i mean the mean persons are bad guys in you movies. can be the prettiest <laughs> guy you will never find a girl for longer than one month because she will realize it so basically we mean with it you can try to work on your character I mean, maybe you are already amazing, then your bubble should be open, but what other things, for example, they could think about? Yeah, it's also well known that self-confidence is very attractive. Absolutely. So, of course, it's not possible to just wake up one day and be confident. It's a long journey for so many people, also for me personally, mm -hmm. uh, still something I'm working on. But you can realize things that make you more confident and you can work on that things. So, for example, if it's a style of clothes you feel comfy in and that's why you are feeling good the day or, or hair. hair or for Tattoos. girls maybe a little bit makeup or <laughs> uh, style Tattoos. or working out <laughs> <Tattoos>. muscles <laughs> i personally love self-confidence in a woman for example try to just that you are working on yourself in a yeah. way i think for yourself and for yourself, for yourself can help you yeah. millions. That's important to yeah. do it for yourself because if you are going to fake it just for girls to be liked by these general standards again, then that's not you. You should do that what makes you more confident, what makes you feel good about you. Absolutely. And then but you will have this glow around you. Basically what I did is um, as a small guy in my teenage time, that time I was making always my hair, I take, took care of myself, I tried to, to find my humor, which I think is a huge thing for me to get girls, for example, to just like have a little bit stupid uh, funniness inside of me, which is sometimes working and sometimes really awkward like <laughs> this was. Um, but exactly that's what it's all about. What did you do to be more confident? I worked out. Working out, oh, that recently came to me actually, just a couple of years ago. Okay, so let's wrap this all up together and I ask you now, do girls only like tall guys? Um, no. No. <laughs> it's a no. It's simple as it is. And this answer we also got on our Instagram from a lot of girls out there. They are having different priorities and they, if a man is lovely to them, then they choose him and they are not looking then for more forward because when you fall in love, then you fall in love. Exactly. It's like we That's did. how it is. So don't lose your hope. Work on yourself if you think, if you want to do that. And give new people new chances. Absolutely. Because that person you are maybe considering to go on a date now 
that person is not the person that hurt you in the past. So guys, of course, if you want to say something to this topic, if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, we are always open for a discussion. We can also say if we were wrong or not. Um, we are open for it. So let us know in the comment section. Yeah. Give us a like if you like the video. If not, do not. And Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And if you want to see maybe a little bit more detailed video for guys how to get a girl or even a taller girl or be a bit more confident we have another relationship talks on our channel so you can just look check them scroll. absolutely mm -hmm. out um, maybe you will find something what do you like to see um yeah follow us on instagram simi and Danny, and see you next time guys thank you Ahoy. Bye.